Tour 21 is an event for amateur cyclists to ride the route of the Tour de France one week in front of the actual race itself. We are going through all five France's mountain ranges so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough and it's going to be tough from the get-go. It's a wonderful experience seeing a team come together. There's a sense of trepidation. People looking nervous, motivated, focused. It'll be great. It'll be good. It'll be good. The Tour de France Route 2023 is mind-boggling. This year to see that it has more mountain climbing than any tour in the history of the 115 years, I believe, of the Tour de France. It makes my legs hurt just thinking about it. Today we ride into France and this is after all the Tour de France, so that will be a special moment. These legs feel a bit heavy this morning, so let's see what France is like. Yeah, I had a little, little accident. I think what happened is that everything stopped very suddenly. So I have some swelling here. I think it's probably a soft tissue injury. No, actually, but I'm certainly determined to go on. I hope that I'm a better haematologist than I am cyclist. And I joined Tour 21 really to raise the profile, as well as raise funds, of the need for trials and access to trials for children and adults in the clinic right now that need those treatments. We're lucky people to be doing this. It's been a beautiful morning, fantastic stage so far. To me today is what cycling is all about. We stuck together as a team. We were kind of riding back and forth with each other. We really got to kind of bond as a unit and really get to know some people that we hadn't talked too much thus far. Mountains are very lonely places. They're very quiet and angry. They're monsters. She's a monster. There is an eeriness when the fog comes in. There's a sense of the unknown. There's a sense of being at one with nature. There's a sense of danger. The cows and the animals that are allowed to stray onto the road. It really feels like you're in God's country. One of the mountain days was, uh, was a big day for me, so um, a little bit of pressure on that day for me. The Terminal A on stage six. It was one of the claims that myself and Damien always would have been joking about the DJ were going to do. Sadly, he passed away. He had an inoperable brain tumour. It was just shocking how life can change in a heartbeat. From that day, Damien got 11 weeks. Probably one of the main reasons why I signed up for the tour. It was an extremely, extremely hard day on the bike. The weather wasn't that kind to us conditions, so extreme weather in terms of mist, uh, rain. Visibility was down to less than 10 metres in many places. The descent from the tourmalade was absolutely dreadful. It was the coldest I've been on a bike ever. The descents were relatively dangerous. The road surface was wet. You just have to be extra careful and be cautious on bends.
Damien. We got it done. We got it done. We got there. It's not too good today, but we keep going. Everybody watching at home, this is really hard. Give them a few dollars. The physicality of it, I don't think anybody can expect of it until you do it. The thing I think keeps all of us going is you look around, there's other folk who are doing it with you. Oh my goodness, you question why you're here sometimes. You know, you, you question your own ability or whether what you can get through the stage. I think what we're doing here is a challenge. It shows that people are stronger than they think they are. All of us are going to come back different people from, from this. It was a horrible night the night before, thunderstorms all night and I stood on the terrace before breakfast and it was pouring down like you rarely see and I thought I'm just not going to do this stage, the hardest stage. Miraculously the weather cleared up so I thought right I'll give it a go. Today is the biggest stage of the tour, I think we were very nervous. It's the Queen stage for a reason. The sooner we get on with it, the sooner we finish, and we can start thinking about Paris. Top guys say that they're nervous about it. It doesn't mean good things for us. It doesn't entice confidence. But we're just going to take it one, one K at a time. We're not far away now. This is five more rides to go. Queen stage is certainly a good way to describe it. Moving through some fantastic hills with really great winding descents. Little towns situated in some places. It's probably one of the finest views I've ever seen on tour. The color of the water was like nothing I've seen before. It's almost inconceivable to realize you're looking at water that's been dammed at probably 1400 meters high at altitude. It was a long, long climb and you just suddenly you take a look up and you just see this enormous valley, mountain tops looming. We are this handful of tiny little beings pedalling away in this huge landscape. I was terrified of just grinding to a halt and falling over sideways. Onto the top of the col, the heavens just opened. There was lightning, thunder, the sky was black, dark. It was a dramatic moment. The last section of the climb, there's no car access. So we had to go on to the top of the Alps, riding with no support other than the three ride leaders who were with us. The choices were either ride it or wait for not quite sure how long in our wet clothes, waiting for someone to pick us up. Woo! Somehow we get to the bus. We made it. I genuinely can't believe we just did 20 stages of the tour. Just extremely proud of myself, extremely proud of the team. Three weeks ago, started in Bilbao. After day one, I thought we were in hell. grand away from a million but I've got some amazing news to tell you that with the pledges that we know that are coming you have broken one million pounds so if you're looking